Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, here's a quick video on a plant called Hornworth. Um, I'm going to start making videos now, basically talking about different plants, how they grow, what to expect, what you're going to see, you know, and how to trim them and things like that. Um, this is Hornworth. It's a low light plant. I'm not sure how long it gets. I think it gets as long as it wants to get. I don't think there's a certain, like, length. Um, it's pretty bushy. It's not as bushy in my aquarium. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right here. Um, usually a lot of people float this stuff. I planted it because I don't really like the mess of it floating. I think my other plants look better floating. But, uh, basically, uh, it's a good cover for fry. A lot of breeders use this for fry. Um, not any particular type of fry. People use it for guppies, mollies, angelfish. Um, the benefits of having this type of plant right here is obviously it, it does cover for your fish. Um, and when you have cover for your fish, they're less stressed out, so that's a plus with this plant. Um, another plant plus with this is it's an oxygenator type of plant, so um, it, it, it releases a lot of oxygen. Um, obviously all plants do, but this one's a very, very heavy oxygenator, so that's a very big plus for uh, planted aquariums, you know, or, you know, if you have fry and stuff like that. Um, Basically, it kind of, you know, if you let it float, it just kind of does its own thing. If you plant it, it will go up and down, um, and then it'll start shooting some to the side. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try to zoom in. It'll shoot some to the side. Um, I like it. It's a very low light plant. It grows really fast, really, really fast. Um, I would recommend it if you've never done aquatic plants and you want to give it a try. Um, if you don't want it floating, I, you can see, you can just leave it like that. Um, it does get bushier. Um, I've grown this in gravel, gravel with dirt, and eco-complete, and in all three plants, in all three tanks, it's done completely fine. I've not had any issues. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, how to trim it. It's very simple. You can get scissors, you can use your hands, and you just snip it, and either replant it or let it float. Um, you don't have to snip it. Uh, when you do bury it, it does not grow roots or anything like that, so, so that's something you got to make sure you know so you don't freak out when you pull it out and you're like there's no roots so um that's it on hornworth that i can think of it's green it doesn't come in any other colors that i know of um and it's probably one of the easiest plants um i'm gonna start with the easiest plants i have the easiest plants i know and then move my way up towards uh harder plants so i hope you guys enjoyed um hornworth check it out um oh i guess i could talk about the price um they sell them in bundles uh they don't just sell one single stem they send, send them in like, like a little bundle of five or six or, you know, a good pack, you know, they package or bundle, whatever you want to call it. And um, I've seen it go for three or four dollars a bundle, which is five or six of these about this size, to um, twenty dollars a bundle, which was like a huge handful and it was fluffy and stuff. So um, I know people use it for ponds also. So. Um, that's the price on it. It's not super duper expensive. It's a pretty cheap plant. Very common in the United States. So I hope I helped you guys out and I hope you guys like this video. Rate, subscribe, comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.